so for understanding the rsi i have taken the infosys chart on trading view and uh, i'll first put the rsi indicator here so you can go to indicators search for rsi and just click on it and you will get the rsi below here automatically with a 30 70 range Okay, that's your RSI indicator. Now, if you look at the, let's try and identify some trends over the last, let's say one year. So, ye dekho, first trend that you can act, even capture this via trend line first. So, if you look at something like this, maybe first, this happened, uh, This happened between, I think, November to January 20, November 23 to Jan 24. Now, during the same period, if you look at the RSI here, same period. So, ye, aap dekho ke ki RSI has also shown a probable RSI. So, RSI also has shown that uptrend. So, if you have trade here, in this place, somewhere, ye dekho, October mein hi, it was at the 30 range. I told you, right? RSI always precedes. It's a leading indicator. So, if you have trade liya hota, to you would have caught this uptrend in the market. This was one classic opportunity where you could have Caught the uptrend. Now let's look at the more recent data somewhere. Maybe abhi ka hi abhi dekh lo. Aaj ka hi agar aap Infosys ka dekho. So if you look at the RSI, it is currently uh, at. Let me draw a rectangular box here. Huh. So if I take a rectangular box here, you and I'm shading this portion because I want to do it at the RSI. Here they go. You can see the range of the RSI here. Can you see that? RSI is RSI is 80 plus. Okay, and yeah, we have to get 80 plus 60 to 70 to 80 grains in the RSI. And that clearly indicates that it is a, a overbought kind of a situation, which suggests that now you can probably see a downtrend in the, uh, in the infi prices also. Okay. And so this certainly, if you are looking at a short term trade perspective, then certainly this is not the right time to buy the input stock. Short term. Long term, I have told you that you have to do this. Long term, if you keep any stock or security, look five years, 10 years beyond, you're going to ride over all the crest centers. So these vicissitudes are not going to bother you at all. Okay, because you will ride over them. And in the longer term, you're going to definitely move upwards. But short term trades, where you are able to catch the trend and probably square off within a month, maybe within a week or so, intraday also, then 
दैट इज वेयर दी टेक्निकल एनालिसिस बिकम्स यूजफुल तो यहाँ पे आपको क्लियरली पता चलेगा कि एंड एंड इफ यू सी अ ट्रेंड लाइन हियर इफ आई वांट टू ड्रॉ ट्रेंड लाइन यू विल सी दैट इट्स ऑलरेडी काइंड ऑफ एट एन ऑल टाइम हाई एंड द डाउनवर्ड मूवमेंट आल्सो इज काइंड ऑफ स्टार्टेड माइंड यू दिस दिस वाज समवेयर इन ये जो आर एस यहाँ पे था टॉप पे कैन यू सी 87 के रेंज में जो था दैट इज इन अराउंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी फोर सो वी आर ऑलमोस्ट थ्री वीक्स हेंस एंड यू कैन सी द डाउनवर्ड ट्रेंड ऑलरेडी आपको समझ में आ रहा है द आर एस आई इज क्लियरली लीडिंग द प्राइस सो इफ यू वुड हैव एक्चुअली टेकन अ शॉर्ट सेल यू कूड हैव प्रोबली मेड मनी इवन ऑन द इनफी स्टॉक गोइंग बाई द जुलाई सिग्नल एज वेल ओके एंड ये देखो यहाँ पे दिस इज वेयर इफ यू लुक एट मार्च ट्वेंटी फोर दिस पॉइंट हियर दिस रेंज दैट यू सी हियर दिस रेंज इज वेर दी दिस इज द रेंज वेयर इट इज ओवर सोल्ड सो दिस कुड है प्रोबेबली बीन द राइट टाइम टू एंटर दी इनफी स्टॉक एंड अगर आप यहाँ पे देखोगे somewhere around here this is where it is at its lowest and agar aapne tab bhi trade pakda hota if you would have caught the trade even then you can see the upward movement okay you can see it's going up and up and up uh वहां नहीं पकड़ के इफ यू वुड हैव डन हियर आल्सो मे बी लिटिल लेटर लुकिंग एट दी आर एस आई ओके देन आल्सो सपोज आपने यहाँ पे किया होता इफ यू वुड हैव वेटेड एंड देन टेकन अ ट्रेड इवन हियर यहाँ पे भी अगर लिया होता तो भी यू आर सीइंग दैट इट इज मेड कंसिडरेबल एडवांसमेंट ओवर द लास्ट आई थिंक सिक्स सेवन मंथस में भी राइट सो दिस इज how are they but as i always tell you that always be on the lookout for bullish divergence and bearish divergence signals that will also aid you and help you to find out the right time to enter and exit and probably help you eliminate a few false alarms and also um, uh, agar aap uh, you know uh, also look out at these w's and m's so if these w's are kind of going lower and lower इवन दो द स्टॉक्स अभी देखो जैसे यहाँ पे इफ यू सी इज दिस रेंज ओके इट शोइंग टेम्पररी दिस इज अ फॉल्स अलार्म इन द स्टॉक इट शोज अ टेम्पररी अप ट्रेंड हियर राइट बट अगर आप उसी समय का आर एस आई देखोगे तो इट इज क्लियरली गोइंग डाउनवर्ड्स एंड इट्स फॉर्मिंग डब्ल्यू बॉटम्स लोअर एंड लोअर दिस इज अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ बेरिश डाइवर्जेंस सो प्रोबली this was a false alarm in the infi stock if you look at the uptrend here so you should have actually seen the w bottoms being formed in the uh, rsi for for infi and probably uh, you could have interpreted the bearish divergence here. so you know these are the kinds of uh, analysis that you are you know you you can expect when you look at the rsi but never ever trade based on a single indicator always trade based on multiple indicators rsi ho gaya macd ho gaya look at the volume data okay uh, look at the candle uh, stick patterns and then decide where to trade and essentially as i always mention rsi is a momentum uh, indicator the very fact that it is capped to this range इज और यहाँ पे अगर आप देखोगे दिस इज आर एस आई फोर्टीन सो दिस इज ऑन फोर्टीन डे एवरेज सो दिस इज द आइडियल विंडो इफ यू श्रिंग दिंडो लेट से सेवन डेज फाइव डेज देन दिलोसिटी एंड द स्पीड विल बी मच फास्टर बट माइंड यू देन यू विल बी जनरेटिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल्स अलार्म एज वेल बिकॉज इट विल टच द फ्लोर एंड द रूफ प्रिटी क्विकली राइट तो कई बार उसको उतनी स्पेस ही नहीं मिलेगी कि वो आपको अलार्म दे पाए 
Whereas if you take a very long window, 25, then you're probably delaying the process and actually defeating the purpose of an RSI indicator itself. Right, so 14 day window is just about optimal in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of RSI. That's why we take 14 day averages. And if you have seen what I explained in the RSI video, you will also understand how to uh, construct the RSI uh, by first calculating the relative strength, which will be based on highs and lows, and then constructing the RSI on Excel. Okay, so this was about the RSI and its explanation. If you found it useful, thank you.